What's up? This is Brandy, aka Pixel and Twix, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter to all of you beautiful people out there. Um, yeah, let's actually get right into it. I didn't cut any corners today. Um, don't mind me, I'm just going to check uh, the rules of this particular build challenge because this is indeed a build challenge uh, posted by Kristen. Um, she can be found on Twitter and on the gallery uh, at Kristen Myrie XO. I will link um, I will link it in the description box below. Um, this challenge is I guess up until uh, the 25th of April when she will host um, the builds on her Twitch channel. So um, if you guys are into building and decorating, I, I definitely um, encourage you to join this challenge. I had fun with it. It was actually pretty, pretty difficult. I won't lie to you. Um, the the house was extremely small and I don't fare well with floor plans as it is and to have to maneuver around the um, the empty shell of this particular build um, and create a floor plan that was conducive to what I had in mind was a bit of a challenge and I think I've said this before that is why they call it a challenge um, but I did have a great time um, figuring out the floor plan and looking for some inspiration and I decided to go with one of my favorite um, looks which is kind of a country uh, yeah about uh, I would say a country theme maybe uh, delving a little into the, the French country um, I would if you guys follow me on Twitter you probably did see some of the pictures I posted on my Twitter feed I really I am a country girl at heart I spent a good portion of my childhood uh, in Alabama and Tennessee where my family's from uh, well some of my family my other part of the family is from Mississippi but I did spend plenty of my childhood in the south and and a lot of my adulthood in Texas and I will say that I am a country girl at heart so that is like my dream kitchen even my home to to have a country look and you know country just feels cozier to me more welcoming um, it just reminds me of my family my parents my grandparents but you didn't he come here to listen to me ramble on about my parents you came to uh, listen to me talk about this build so you can kind of see I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the counter spacing because it is a very tight space in the kitchen but I still wanted to make this kitchen look uh, lived in and homey and still have like cabinet space because that is like my biggest pet peeve I shouldn't say pet peeve but my my biggest want in my dream kitchen is to have plenty of cabinet space and that's what I was looking for but also like these little um, details that make it my own so I was kind of going off of how I would like my kitchen I think that's any in, what I do anytime I decorate or um, maybe create a build um, especially if it's something with this theme. I did go for a shiplap look eventually. I, You can see I kind of went back and forth for a second and stuck with this brown wallpaper. I usually do not, I've, actually I've never used this wallpaper and I was feeling it for a while. Even uh, while I was building it, I was talking to myself like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this, but I ended up changing it um, because I wanted to go with a blue and brown color scheme but I thought maybe it was just a little much too much brown um, and you will see me see me go back and forth with the wallpapering again and I eventually decided to go back to the shiplap 
Um, I, I love the shiplap. I think I watch way too much Chip and Joanna, but let me tell you, that is one of my favorite shows because she gets me. I'm a, I'm a farmhouse girl. I want me some chickens. I want me some cows and pigs and goats and, and dogs and lots of kids running around. That is, that is my complete aesthetic. So, oops, sorry. That was my iPad. I always have my iPad when I'm recording a video and it's always rude. Shh, be quiet. Okay, so um, as you can see, again, it's a really tight fit. So I couldn't do all the details I wanted to. Um, yeah, with the columns and things like that. But I did end up um, take, well, I did end up taking it down because I wanted your Sims to actually be able to move around this, uh, kitchen. I did not, uh, sorry guys, uh, I'm put this on the floor, so professional here. <laughs> um, I did not, what did I did not do? <laughs> I completely forgot what I didn't do. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, play test this. I should have. I did actually put a sim in this um, in this house so I could take the proper pictures, and she didn't seem to have any issues moving around. But um, I would recommend um, have it. I would recommend. Uh, checking for yourself. Also, um, you want to use the BB Move Objects. Is it? Yeah, BB Move Objects Sheets before you even place this house uh, because that was recommended by Kristen. Also, you will see me put things on shelves and counters that normally would not um, work or would, you know, normally not sit or slot. Uh, in your base game, I do use a script mod for uh, clutter. I think it's clutter, clutter everywhere or clutter anywhere, something like that. I do use that script mod. I don't have any CC in this build, but because I use that script mod along with the script mod for mirrors being more movable, it does register as custom content. So um, this build is custom content free. Also, I really wasn't aware of the amount of uh, packs I used. I'm so sorry. I, I should be more aware of that because I realize everyone doesn't have all the packs. I'm just greedy like that. I need to have all my packs because I love to build. I love to decorate. I'm not that great of a builder, but I do love to decorate more and I just feel like I need all the things all the things and more because I have a lot of CC um, as far as clutter, wall art, uh, furnishings, and you will probably see that in my UI that I have a ton of CC, which is probably why my mods folder, well, not probably, it is why my mods folder looks like the way it does because my mods folder is ridiculous, guys. It's, it's insane. I, I really do not need to add any more um, mods to my game but I, I just keep seeing this amazing these amazing creations by the way speaking of amazing creations I know this has nothing to do with this build but that like Harry Potter themed um uh oh gosh game pack or stuff pack that thing is amazing I use that amazing a lot but whoever created that I can't remember their name right off the top of my head but they did an awesome job it was Maxis worthy like even the trailer down to the art the artwork I believe um, someone else did the the front artwork otherwise it was just like I was um, dumbfounded obviously and a loss for words as well but yes yeah, so I wanted to incorporate this basket I love this basket I hate that it's only found in the debug menu I would love to have this available as you know just um, an item and to be able to just fill it with vegetables and things like that I think that would be perfect 
um, to as an item in the the game um, to put vegetables and fruit and stack it as you want. I wish we had more um, debug vegetables or just vegetable clutter. You know, like I don't know if your grandmother did this, but my grandmothers both did this. They always had a bowl of fake fruit on their table. My grandmother, um, God rest her soul, uh, in Alabama, she had fake fruit everywhere, like on the table, and then sometimes she would hang grapes. She loved like fake fruit. Even when um, my grandfather passed and she moved to Texas, um, she had to have fake grapes and things like that. That was just her thing. I don't know what it is, um, but that was, maybe it's a Southern thing because both my grandmothers, one was from Mississippi and one is from Alabama. Both of them love to do that. And I like to do that too. I love to have fruit in a bowl. I like to have that on the table. I guess it just makes the house feel more inviting and that's what I was going for with this. Now, my idea for the sim that lives here. Um, if you saw earlier in the build, there were two little items that were included. You had to have them in your build or include them in your build somehow. There was that little um, robot head that came with the latest patch and then a rubber ducky. So, I... I wanted this sim to be kind of a country sim. This is, this lot is located in, uh, what is it, Brindleton Bay. So it's a 30 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay. And I have this sim um, kind of like as, kind of as a transplant into Brindleton Bay from um, a country, a more country area, even though Brindleton Bay is kind of rural. Um, so this is a very rural sim who loves that, uh, who loves to stay in that area and move to Brindleton Bay. Um, and they are a painter, they're full time freelance artist. And that would be, so that would be the career choice, I suppose. Yes. So, um, being that this was a small house, there's an upstairs and a downstairs, and the only way that you can access the downstairs is to go outside, which is fine. So I decided to create um, the living space to add um, in the downstairs area. Um, so where was I going before I just kind of went off on tangent? I do this all the time. So um, yes, so the son that lives here is a freelance artist and they also enjoy um, nature. They're an outdoor sim. Um, they love to paint and the the idea of being outdoors um, also is incorporated in some of their art pieces. Uh, although I did not have uh, any art pieces for that. Uh, I did find some amazing uh, pieces on the gallery as per usual. Uh, some of my um, my uh, favorite wall art creators on the gallery have come through again. I did use a lot of Tia, I think Tia33. I will link her name in the description so you guys don't know who she is. Um, he or she, I don't know, sorry. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I did link their name. I will link their name in the description below so you can check out their artwork because um, this is how you can incorporate um, different artwork into your game without subjecting yourself to CC if that's not your thing. Uh, so anyways, yes, back to the Sims. So the Sim is, uh, what did I say? They're country, they're an artist, they love the outdoors. Um, I would say they probably love to garden. So there isn't that much room for gardening. So they have a little herb plants in the window, which I do. I have basil and stuff like that in my window, which I love to have and I talk to my plants I also name them and I feel like you also you have to name your plants because every plant has a personality that's how I look at it don't laugh at me don't judge me that's this is a hundred percent real me so this person would always have a ton of plants 
and um, a ton of uh, herbs and you know just little things like that um, paintings of you know fruit um, I don't know where they got the vegetables maybe they went to the farmers market so um, which is a place that I love to go is the farmers market so um, I definitely had that in mind when I was creating this house for the Sims so this is where they spend a lot of time um, cooking and yes the sim would probably be a natural um, a natural chef um, uh, maybe a gardener maybe they have a green thumb thrum <laughs> maybe they have a green thumb or um, maybe they just like the outdoors I mean you don't necessarily have to have a green thumb to enjoy plants um, so obviously we can only have so many traits so uh, if you choose to use this house or this particular um, entry or what have you that's the sim I had in mind so if you do let me know what kind of sim you decide to um, put in this house because I would like to know really I would uh, I think it's kind of interesting to see what uh, storylines people have for their sims and maybe your sim isn't the type of sim that I had in mind for this build maybe your sim uh, inherited this house from their grandmother and um, so they moved in as it was, left it as it was, but they have a whole different personality and maybe they're afraid to change something in the house because it did belong to their grandmother. Um, and I don't know, the storyline is all yours. That was just my thought um, in the process. So yeah, I went back and forth. You guys, there's a lot to this build and I could probably, um, I could have probably shortened this up quite a bit more because of there being so much detail and I the kitchen is where I spend a lot of my time just moving things around and perfecting things so that's what I did all right moving on I went over and decided that this house definitely need a want needed a washer and dryer uh, so I did stick that over in the corner and then I love to have a little patio area even though this is a really small build I still think it needed uh, a sort of patio like this would be kind of a breakfast nook but still kind of have the outdoorsy feel now normally in this circumstance I would uh, add bigger windows like uh, um, like patio doors or something like that but the rules of the challenge were that you could not change the doors or the windows so um, everything else I think you could change I wasn't sure about the paint but I actually like uh, the, the color of the house um, and the red and blue so I did like that I did give it a, a more country feel but Yes, so um, I do have, um, what was I going to say? Again, lost. Uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to have a place to sip some tea and chat with my girlfriend or something like that, or in this case for the Sim uh, who lives there, maybe with the Sim next door, or something like that. So, um, I did incorporate, like I said before, some wall art, um, and I couldn't decide exactly what I wanted to include, and I wanted to make sure I picked up a few pieces that were um, landscapes, not necessarily landscapes, but like portraits or um, some kind of some kind of landscape that looked like that Sam had actually painted those. Pictures, but again, I give credit to where credit is due, uh, which is to Tia uh, 33, and I believe I may have picked up a few more photos from elsewhere, but I have to make sure. Uh, so I want to make sure I give credit to all the artists on the gallery for uh, their creations. I think these are amazing. These definitely add to my builds. Um, it gives my home a little more personality. I really wish we had more wall art. Um, I don't too much use the graffiti and stuff that's in the game. Um, I think that's so specific that you kind of have to use those 
um, for obviously specific builds or for cityscapes or things like that and they don't always necessarily fit into what I'm trying to do but not that I'm complaining too much about the wall art because the Sims team has done an amazing job um, listening to the community and I am grateful for that white shelf that they added um, I would love to see more white swatches uh, more swatches just in general so our, our houses don't start to look the same and honestly that's probably why I pick up so much CC uh, because I get tired of my my houses looking the same and I don't necessarily um, I don't always think outside the box, outside the box. I, I've seen some simmers builders who have used objects from the game and created some like outlandishly awesome build and things that I would have never thought of like using shelves to make uh, spiral staircases which I think is so creative uh, but I would love to have actual spiral staircases in the game um, so I'm working on the bathroom here it's a small space created by myself but I felt like this uh, house needed two bathrooms even though one is more like a not a half bath but a quarter bath uh, or maybe it is a half bath I think a half bath includes uh, a toilet and a sink I think that's what they call a half bath but um, if you're having company you don't want that uh, guest to walk have to walk outside and use the restroom especially if your bathroom is an ensuite and you don't want them going through your personal space so i felt like there needed to be a small bathroom for guests to use so i did obviously add one to um, this little corner and you probably saw a flash of where i put the kitchen table because i added so much into the gallery style kitchen because it's kind of gallery because it's long and narrow i did add the kitchen table in that little corner probably wasn't the most ideal but I felt like it kind of fit I mean this is a small house and realistically speaking if you have a small space you're going to try to fit things uh, where they they can and sometimes your kitchen table is off to the side or you do you you use a bistro table or something like that so you work with your space um, and that's what I was kind of going for here. Like, it's not uh, design-wise idea, ideal, but the the thought that the Sim had a very small space to look work with, and they were just using what space they had to be able to have a full table, uh, so they can have guests. I, I is it a full table or did I no? It's a smaller table, but. You know, uh, it seats four people, so um, this sim probably has a lot of guests. Um, you know, at least friends and family um, over, and maybe the occasional uh, buyer. So they want to be able to have some space to uh, entertain, and so that's why I put that there. And then I had some struggles with this blank wall. I, I eventually added a bookcase and a mirror because. I hate to have a blank wall it just kind of sets everything else off to me I mean you walk in and you see all this detail and practically every every space is full and then you look to your, your left when you walk in the door and you're like oh it's a it's an empty, empty wall you you pay attention to every other space except for this wall you can find anything to put up here up here and so I'm like yeah I gotta go back and fix that so um, I did add a lamp and I was gonna add a chair here but I thought it was ridiculously uh, ridiculously it was I was just too much so I, I think I just eventually put a table and a lamp in that little corner and then we're down here in the in the little basement area and this was her or his or her living space um, this is where their studio is, um, their, their workspace, like their little office, uh, where they might uh, sit and sketch, maybe do some um, 
some graphic design online. Uh, just because you're a painter doesn't mean that you're not into graphic art. And some actually delve into both. I think uh, graphic art and just canvas painting, I, I'm not sure how that's, what that's called. But those two mediums do uh, mix together. Mediums? mediums <laughs> use your vowels um those two mediums do uh medias girl i don't even know the word right now but those two things do you know work coincide uh now this little rubber ducky i couldn't figure out what i want to do with this so i kept going back and forth put it on the shelf put it in the bathroom and i'm like oh this is just like too expected like it was almost like lazy on my part um, as far as like just throwing the duck up on the shelf um, and, or in the bathroom and there's no bathtub so I eventually figured out what I was going to do with the duck later uh, and you will see that but I like this little area. Um, it is cluttered and I meant it to be cluttered because this is their studio. This is where they sleep. Um, why did I keep going back and forth? I'm not sure. Oh, probably because it kept popping back up. And I hate that in the game. When you're working with small spaces or odd spaces, the game constantly pops up and down. I hate that. It's so annoying. But, okay, so I didn't really know what I wanted to use as a space. Honestly, I wish we had more, um, art, like, clutter. Like, pencils, uh, color pencils, uh, little pots of paint, something like that because if you're an artist or anything like, a, um, yeah, because other careers like your, um, your veterinarian career and things like that, there is clutter for sp uh, specifically from that career and the art career seems a little lacking. You have your easel and yeah, you've got your, um, your uh, artwork I don't know what that thing's called where it holds your artwork and then you've got a couple like um, I don't know still art pieces that you can work with but that's it there's no pencils there's no uh, there's no paint brushes there, yeah no paint brushes no no nothing like that um, no sketch pads that you can put down where you know it shows like half drawn artwork or anything like that I would love to see that in the game now there is a uh, custom content creator um, I am uh, I'm a doco I think that's the name they have um, amazing um, clutter for art and I love it I downloaded every single one of the their pieces I've used it before but um, yeah I didn't incorporate it into this bill because yeah I just didn't incorporate it into this bill because I wasn't sure if I could use CC or not and on to the bathroom. So the bathroom, um, you can see I kind of skipped ahead. Uh, it was small, but again, this is a small house. You don't need a huge bathroom. It is a single sim. Uh, you could probably have two sims living in this house. It's big enough. It's not too super crowded where two sims couldn't live in it comfortably, but I thought this was ideal for a single sim. And so of course, they um, are the type of sim that does so much painting that their room gets cluttered or the room slash studio gets cluttered and their walls are full of paintings so they start uh, hanging artwork in their bathroom uh, so you'll see their pieces are everywhere which I think would be a typical artist I know my, my mother used to paint quite a bit uh, she's actually a really good artist uh, she hasn't done it in a long time but I do remember her um, bringing her artwork home and it was hanging on the walls. I inherited one of the paintings, but now I don't remember where it is, and I hate to say, or I hate to think that I lost it, but I probably did. So in the backyard, I felt like this needed a small pond, nothing too crazy, but the, back, the backyard needed something. Uh, they do, this house is situated in Brindleton Bay on the three by 20 lot, and there is a waterfall 
uh, not too far from here. Uh, I'm struggling with that little angle there. But uh, so I guess uh, a little water feature was needed um but i i didn't go into too much detail here normally i would cover um all the edges with rocks and things like that but um as you can see i did incorporate the duck here uh that's was my idea um after i stopped struggling trying to figure out oh the duck could go here and here but no it was just too uh, expected so maybe this is too but i felt like this person held on to their duck from childhood and make uh, created a home for them here uh, and then I think I added a baby duck too uh, so maybe he was a role playing or she was role playing with uh, their rubber ducky from when they were a kid I don't know that was my train of thought so uh, I thought it was cute so I added it but um, like I said normally I add rocks to surround the entire border but with the terrain and things like that um, all the rocks weren't um, they weren't like fitting correctly and then I just didn't want to okay let me just be honest I was being lazy at that point <laughs> I just didn't want to do it no but I thought the the less is more tactic was the way to go here um, I know those edges are kind of harsh but Let's say they're harsh. <laughs> they were kind of harsh, but uh, I don't know. I like I like the way it ended up looking, even with the edges showing. Um, it doesn't look as natural, but I don't think I was really going with that effect, especially with the rubber ducky, the two rubber duckies, you know, floating around. So yeah, I actually ended up using that. I think I did. I'm not sure. I think I ended up using the border instead because I wanted to give I wanted to give it the man-made look. I didn't want it to look like oh this was here naturally. Um, so I wanted to give it the look like oh this person that lived here or this person that used to live here used to lived. Uh, yeah, let's get our tenses correctly. <laughs> the person that used to live here. Um, had this made or dug it themselves and filled it with water uh, so yeah and then um, I did add some detail I that is something that I love to do and I think that might be my signature is uh, for one you'll see in my kitchens a lot of times I always have a, a chair off into the corner um, just by a counter or just sitting by a um, like a, the dresser that I always seem to put in my kitchen because I have that in my kitchen. I have a like a dresser or like I don't know what you would call it, but I use that to put um, extra silverware that I have or cookbooks and things like that to tuck it away. And there's other drawers for um, mail or whatever. But I always have something like that in my kitchen bills and a chair that's sitting next to it or a chair extra chair off in a corner by itself because i always imagine imagine a sim that's cooking and maybe they have a kid or a guest and the guest comes in and maybe they don't sit at the bar maybe they don't sit at the table but they sit up in this corner chair and that's their spot and they sit there and they talk um i always imagine things like that and then the touches outside i always think okay well if a sim has this yard and there's this beautiful landscaping maybe they do yoga outside or maybe they sit outside in their chair and here's a glass of lemonade or something like that that is um, my train of thought when i'm building um it may be silly to some people but um, I always think about those things because these are things that I actually enjoyed growing up. Um, these are things that I did when my mom was cooking in the kitchen. I would always sit in the same chair and she may, she will most likely have me chopping up onions or bell peppers, but it was my spot um, and I would sit there and I would chop up onions and bell peppers or just watch her cook and that's how I learned to cook. And of course my dad had his favorite chair. so. 
everyone had their favorite spot in the kitchen and so that's always my train of thought when I do that I guess it's like I said my signature but uh, I look as at it as adding a little bit of uh, my real life in this this world um, and and my real life be a finishing touch so to speak to my build but um, I'm almost done here actually I did fill out uh, underneath um, the, the vegetation or uh, foliage a little bit more and added some more uh, moss and things um, to the, the, the water feature <laughs> and uh, I think I added a few more plants to the front. Um, there wasn't a lot of room for trees and things like that um, in this on this lot, which is fine. I think with the the landscaping in the background, that was plenty. So you see there's plenty of rocks and trees and things. So this didn't need a lot uh, because where I placed it, I'm pretty sure everyone who was involved in this challenge placed it in a similar area. Maybe, I'm assuming. I probably shouldn't, but that uh, I, I'm assuming here. So yeah, I did toy around up here. Uh, I'm not very good at landscaping. Landscaping. I'm not very good at landscaping, but um, I try. I mean, I'll get better as I go by or as I go and I'll, you know what? Y'all know what I mean. I'll get better. <laughs> so um, I did throw a tire in here, but it just didn't, it didn't work for me. And I went back and um, I think it just, I think I kept those there, but I love the hostas. Actually, hostas are my mom's favorite. They, she plants those. As she used to plant those quite a bit, and hostas, hostas can actually get out of hand. Just a, a pro tip for you guys, so you kind of want to keep those cut back. I didn't really know what to put there. I wanted that to look like packages were delivered in crates because they needed more canvases. Canvases? Canvases? Wow. Um, and I forgot, but this was bare. The flooring was bare here. So I added some flooring. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that, but I did. I hope um, that doesn't like, I don't know if this was, this was just a challenge, but I hope that doesn't like disqualify my build. But uh, that's what I added there. And that's it. You guys are getting a good look at the house. And I was just trying to see if there was anything else I could add. Um, and then, oh, I know it was. I was looking for lighting because I felt like it just needed some lighting. Um, I really love um, the idea of outdoor lighting um, and the, the twinkle lights and stuff like that. Um, I want to do that for my own house, but you know, adult responsibilities, you think about the electric bill and things like that. So uh, I do it in game because I can't do it uh, in my real life so live vicariously through the game don't we all right we do things in the game that we wouldn't do and in, in real life at least i hope most of us wouldn't do in real life because i've seen some of y'all play i'm judging but i'm not judging <laughs> or is it the other way around i'm not judging but i'm judging yeah i see you i see you guys but i'm just giving you a good look at the house and there'll be some photos coming up here really soon, I think. Yeah, or no, maybe I'm going back in here to see if I can add a little things here and there. I did. I think I went back in here and I decided on, nope, it didn't need anything else. I think it would have been too much. Um, did I add anything else there? Oh yeah, the bathroom. I did um, add some things to the bathroom because that just looked half done and like eh, okay it's a bathroom I mean I'll be honest bathrooms are like my worst uh, when it comes to building because there's just such limited items like the showers and things I would love to have separate showers shower heads and um, where I can like, build a shower like let me put a glass wall and then a shower head and then I can use the paint tool to make 
uh, stone or tiled walls for the shower. I, I want to make a double shower, so there's two uh, shower heads, you know, all fancy HGTV like. So, but you'll now you'll see where I added the uh, bookcase. And I did eventually add a piece of artwork there in the corner by the table. Uh, that mirror just looked lonely, so it needed a bookcase. Well, maybe you didn't see it. But here's some pictures, guys. I do hope you enjoy this build. And smash that like button. Give me a comment, a thumbs up. And I hope you, you subscribe. I love you guys. Bye-bye.